crazy. These are my first meters walking the Camino Francais. I just left my accommodation and off we go. It's currently 7 a.m. We'll see where this leads me. eggs and one banana for three euros the pea I got from yesterday that's my lunch on the first day of the Camino Francais uh, you walk uphill very much I completed that now and now it goes straight and a little bit down that's really enjoyable um, it's nice to spend much time alone. I was just walking with three other guys, um, but decided to yeah let them let them walk. And I'm proud of myself that I said that I just want to be alone right now. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now, enjoying the walk alone. And the sun is coming out again, that's wonderful. The smell in here is insane. So we are just starting now, everything hurts. Everything. My knees in particular are the worst. It's a chill day. So, in the last city, all our birds, you call them our birds? Albuquerque? Albuquerque. They were closed. So we walked Albergues. another Albergues. So we walked another six kilometers, and the Albergues here are also closed. And now we have to walk again six kilometers <laughs> to the next city. And there are also just two Albergues. So we will see where this, yeah. how this will end. So much fun today. Right now, I'm dead. Still four kilometers to go. Oh, man. We made it. We are on top of the hill. Finally. Back home, it's only 1,600 kilometers. And check out the view. again and <laughs> this auberge is booked fully booked and this one is closed as well so we have to walk another two kilometers 2.6 okay 
how are we feeling about this? I'm feeling so great right now. You can see it on my face. I'm happy to work two kilometers more, and maybe four, and maybe seven more. <laughs> So, day four, right now my feet are so swollen that they barely fit into the shoes. Everything is bleeding, everything is hurting, and I keep walking. But today I will just do it like a very short day, because I need to get some rest. Otherwise I won't make it to Santiago. City I was going to and just wanted to check into the Albert but they, did. they were closed like all of them in the city and in the next city as well so because I can't walk anymore because my feet hurt and my uh, hips I needed to get a taxi to Estrella the next big city and I'm sure there will be an Albert that's open but I wasn't able to walk like another eight kilometers today and if I want to finish the Camino, I need to take care of myself, and that's what I'm doing right now. Doesn't feel really good, but uh, needs to be done. So I'm in Estella now, and look, the next Alberg that is closed. It's really hard. The Camino during COVID, like the last 10 out of the last 12 Albergs were closed. I just ran against the lantern. <laughs> Whoa. What the f It's like really big and for two seconds I didn't know who I was. Oh man. <sighs> Crazy. So I woke up this morning and my feet are like bleeding everywhere and hurting and I was about to book a accommodation for tonight in Estella as well but now I decided to just walk through the pain and I'm kind of really proud of myself so yeah let's go let's walk over 20 kilometers with bleeding feet nice where you can get water but also wine <laughs> pretty nice <laughs> The truck just gave me fresh, I don't know the name for them, fresh, you know, you know the name. Ah, what a wonderful day. And they taste really good. Grapes, grapes, amazing. That 
it's so cool you see those rock formations everywhere of pilgrims just put in oops <laughs> I really enjoy start walking when it's like 7, 7.30 because then it's still dark. It gives me kind of like boost and I really enjoy that. First time I got a private room. I mean, it's not big. But it's private. I got privacy for one night. So today was the worst day so far. Day 9. Uh, I just slept two hours because I wasn't able to sleep. Um, I did 28 kilometers today and the wind was blowing so hard. The way was so, so stony and full of gravel and it was just, just hard for me today. Um, I now arrived and <laughs> I'm so glad I, I really I can't do it <laughs> I can't do it anymore tomorrow it's gonna rain so this will be also a new experience for me but I'll take it slow tomorrow today it's heavily raining as you can maybe hear and I will do 36 kilometers today so the furthest I've ever gone and look I'm just going up, all the way up, <sighs> nice. After 40 kilometers, I'm finally, finally eating my lunch in the evening. Day 11 on the Camino. <sighs> My feet didn't get better. Now also my, this muscle here is hurting. And on top of that, my back hurts. So literally my body's telling me to don't continue but, uh, what I've done in the past 10 days. One hour ago I met a German guy and he told me my walking habits are the same as in German society. You walk until you get into an age where you retire and then you will enjoy life. And I'm walking and walking through the pain, through through everything, just looking for my destination, the place where I can relax. It's pretty much the same and it made me think. So after the talk with the German guy, I decided to take the day tomorrow off and I think that's a nice decision. Get some sleep, write my journal, read, read, read. So I haven't been drinking all the whole Camino but today at 9am I will drink my first beer because we said as soon as the music hits we will drink something. He's 
guys. I'm sure it is. She is. stayed at this incredible nice place there was one guy playing the guitar and I was listening to it laying down in a hammock it was so nice so day 14 or 15 I don't know but I just realized how thankful I am that I'm able to do what I'm currently doing just walking through Spain in the sun. I love the sun. And today I'm doing over 40 kilometers, maybe over 50. I'm currently in the flow. I'm listening to deep focus music on Spotify. And I'm just, I'm always looking right at my feet. Not a single glimpse backwards and just sometimes looking way ahead of where my feet are and that works really good. I took the wrong route and it's currently pretty dangerous here because the cars are coming here. So I think I think I'll climb up here to get back on track after 40 kilometers. That's not what I need right now, but it's the own dampness. accommodation again and this is my place <laughs> and in every albergue you have to put on those those sheets and they make the bed fresh and clean <laughs> flies everywhere it's so annoying because I'm um, today I'm not walking with airpods so I also hear them all the time it's in incredible there are like 20 flies around me all the time it's super annoying but I try to accept the situation and just relax and keep going Today was
was a real crowded day. I'm currently on top of a mountain in 1,400 meters. Um, and I really hate the touristic part about the Camino. where I still stay tonight. It's crowded, very COVID friendly, and it smells like shit in here because somebody always closes all the windows. I mean, I opened them twice now. Somebody closes them all the time. Yeah, this will be a nice night tonight, right? It's easy, you just have to like, go like this and... Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So lost. <laughs> <laughs> so we just reached the last 100 kilometers, and there are pilgrims, like mini pilgrims everywhere, that do like the last 100 kilometers. And at first, it was stressing me out very much, but now I just accept it. And, and today, I'm going to come on. Last 100 kilometers. Feeling good. Already did like 25 kilometers today. 22. 22. Yeah. And it's only half past 12, so we're good. Go forward so you take a nice video. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Today I walked 50 kilometers, that was my goal for the Camino. And to celebrate this, we found a really nice place and having an awesome dinner today. The last 10 kilometers and it really gets crowded here. We're arriving in Santiago! Ready, boy. Such a beautiful morning. I just packed my bag lighter and now I'm here and out of Santiago. I was in Santiago for two days 
And I really realized again that nature is so much nicer than a city for me. And yeah, I'm just calming down because the energy of cities is normally like so stressed. And everywhere are those arrows that lead you the way. That's also pretty cool. Yesterday, I planned my way to Finisterra and today I <laughs> decided to walk to Muxia and then to Finisterra. So I just choose completely different. I've never thought of doing this, but yeah, that's what life is all about. Being spontaneous and just don't plan too much. So this is my last day of walking on the Camino Francais. I will go from Muxia to Finisterra today. Those are my first steps of the last day walking. <sighs> I really feel a little bit sad, but also happy at the same time. Um, yeah. made it to the end of the world and I'm really proud of myself. I've learned so much on this on this Camino but I also learned it doesn't need a Camino. But I will hike more often in my life and also make some other changes in my life and I'm also very thankful for all the people I've met that inspired me on this Camino and especially for Ramon uh, with whom I had a great time and very inspiring deep talks and yeah now I've made it to the end of the world and I'll show you my view